The last beaded tiara I'm going to show you is the Renaissance tiara. And for this one, you will need 41 seed beads and 4 sphere beads. And you'll only need 18 inches of the wire because this one doesn't have as many um, folded going back overs as the other ones do. So what we want to start off with is one sphere bead threaded right on. And we're going to grab both ends now. And onto both ends, we're going to insert one seed bead followed by a spear bead. So here's one spear bead going through both ends and one spear bead also doing the same thing going through both ends. And this will create the center peak. So we're going to kind of straighten it up and push it up to the center as much as you can. It will look a bit like this. Now what we want to do to either side, we're going to start working now, is we want to take our wire and then back, backtrack it and go through again the very last sphere B we just put on. And you want to tighten it as much as you can, like so. We're going to do the same thing to the other side. And this kind of locks it into place along with adding a nice stylish effect. Again, you want to pull tightly on it and lock it into place. So, this is what the center should look like. What we're going to do now is we're going to thread three seed beads onto onto the wire. We're going to do this to each side, but we're going to do one side at a time. So it's one, two, and three. I'm going to push it up against the side and what we're going to do is we're going to backtrack and go through the very last one again. Now this is more for creative stylings than anything. If you wanted to just skip doing this backtrack you could. You want to make sure it's nice and tight. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. So again that's three seed beads. I'm going to push it up against and we're going to backtrack and go through the very last one. And again, making sure everything is nice and tight and snug. We pull tight. So it looks something like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create the little peak. And what we want to do is we want to insert a spear bead followed by one seed bead. Now what we're going to do is we're going to skip over the seed bead we just went and we're going to go through the spear bead in the opposite direction. So this helps to create the peak. And you want to make sure everything's nice and tight as you pull it through. And that creates the second peak. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. So that's one spear bead followed by a seed bead. And again, we're going to skip over the last seed bead and go through the spear bead in the opposite direction, keeping everything nice and tight and snug. We're going to pull all the way through. And this creates the center portion of our tiara. 
Now we're going to insert one seed bead and we're going to backtrack it so it creates the pretty little bump on the opposite side as well. Now if you didn't want to do that you don't have to. You could just thread it on normally but it does make it look really pretty. And we did the same thing to the other side. So that's one seed bead. We're going to backtrack over it. And we're going to pull it snug and tight. Now, if it goes like this and doesn't go quite as tight, you'll need to sort of loosen up the uh, up the the circle to tighten it so that you can therefore pull on the strings or the, the wire. Now what we want to do is we want to put on three seed beads. What we're going to do is we're going to put on three seed beads. We're going to backtrack over it and we're going to do this twice. So one, two, and three. We're going to backtrack over the last one and go through it again in the same direction. But again, if you didn't want to do this, you could just skip this part and just continue threading on beads. But this really helps to kind of lock it into place, along with giving it a nice stylish effect. And we're going to do this one more time. So that's to this side, so that's three seed beads. We're going to backtrack over the last one we just did. We're going to make sure it's nice and tight. And now we're going to repeat this onto the other side. So we're going to take three seed beads again. We're going to go back through the very last one. Making sure it's all tight and snug. And we're going to do this again to the side. One, two, three. Push it up against. Going to form a circle and go back through that one again, making sure it stays nice and snug and tight. Pull all the way, and this is what we have so far. Now we want to thread nine beads to either side, seed beads. That is, so we got one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We're just going to bend the end just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Well, we put on nine to the other side. So one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And again, we're going to straighten out the wire on the other side again. And we're going to measure it. And again, it's about four inches, which is roughly what we need. And now we're going to create the same locking mechanism thing that we did again. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go through the last nine. Or what I want to do is I'm going to go through 
through seven of them and leave two so that way when I make my double back it'll create the same it'll be in the same design spot as the last time so we're going to go through seven of them And we're going to go through seven on the other side as well. And we're going to pull tight on either side, a little bit on one side, a little bit on the other, just until it's nice and snug. And then again. Once we've got it nice and snug, we're going to back track over the one. So we're coming out of this one and we're going to go back over the one. Managed to make it through two this time. <laughs> I'm going to pull it through as tight as we can. And I want to go through just a few more. Fine, just one more then. We're going to snip off this one side. And just sort of tuck it into place. And then we're going to go ahead and go to the other side to lock it into place. So we're going to go over the one and back through a few more. You just kind of have to bend it around and just push and pull and you'll get it through. I'm going to make sure when you backtrack that you go back through at least three. If you can do more, that's even better. But three ought to do the trick. And you just snip it off. Take your pliers. Push it in. And this is the Resonance Tiara. Thanks so much for watching.